Hi, Bob. I just wanted to take a minute to congratulate you on your retirement. Um, good news for you, bad news for us. I will miss you tremendously. You've been such an asset to me in this uh, position and for our department. And um, I will miss you and I hope to see you from time to time. Please stop by um, and uh, just, you know, enjoy your retirement for all of us until we get there ourselves, okay? So thank you so much. I will miss you. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Bob. On behalf of Amanda and I and all the HHTV students, we thank you for your support that you have given us over the years, and we wish you the best in your retirement. You certainly deserve it. Congratulations. Hey, Bob. Life's a beach. Happy retirement. You're a great boss and the most fun to work with. Hi, Cindy. Congratulations on your retirement. All of us here in the HR department would like to wish you well and let you know we miss you and thank you for all your contributions to the school district and to our team. Take care, enjoy your retirement. Congratulations, Nancy, on your retirement from the Hapford Horsham Food Service Department. Nancy Gradwell has been an employee here for the past 29 years. Nancy has spent a lot of time working in all the kitchens throughout our district, but has spent most of her time as the Simmons Cafeteria Manager. She was devoted to feeding all children within our community. She is hardworking, reliable, and a team player. Nancy is a kind and generous individual that would often take money out of her own pocket before upsetting a child in her lunch line. Nancy, please take this time and enjoy the next chapter of your life with your family and grandchildren. We will miss you here greatly. A note of congratulations on her retirement to Dr. Sue Vates. Sue, it's been my distinct pleasure to work with you for your time in Hapro Horsham. It's hard to believe so many years have gone by, but you've been an excellent partner in crime for our curriculum office. I will miss you for your literary expertise. Uh, I'll miss you for the way that you steered our administrative team and district equity work. I'll miss you for your tireless coordination of our professional development planning. Uh, many years of teachers have now been through induction under your watch through Vates Academy, if you will. Um, your championing of our ESL program will be greatly missed. Uh, but most of all, I'm, I'm going to miss your easygoing nature and your, your gentle good humor. It really has been a privilege to work with you these years and you will be greatly missed. Congratulations and best wishes on a well-deserved retirement. Thank you, Sue. Congratulations, April, on your retirement from the Hapro Horsham Food Service Department. April has worked here at the Crooked Billet Elementary School for the past 23 years. She came to work every day with a smile and a can-do attitude. She was a great problem solver and a team player. She worked well with all students and staff and was admired by the Crooked Billet community. April, you will be missed greatly. Good luck on this new exciting chapter of your life. Hi Maureen, just wanted to wish you a happy retirement. Can't believe that you're going, never thought this day would come. Um, you're one of the first people when I came to the district to offer me support. You're always there for us and also in the community. Um, we will really miss you being a part of our family. Hi Maureen, congratulations on your retirement. I'm going to miss you since I've known you since you came to the district way back at Lime Kiln Simmons time. I'll miss our times in B212. Lots of fun there. Happy retirement. Happy retirement, Maureen. I will miss you. Happy retirement, Maureen. Enjoy. We'll miss you. Happy, Happy retirement. retirement. No more filing. Happy retirement, Maureen. Hey, everybody. I'm Dennis Williams, principal at Hapro Horsham High School. Listen to all of our high school faculty and staff that are retiring this year. I just wanted to take a brief moment and just say thank you. We're losing some people that have been a significant part of the high school fabric for a really, really long time. And uh, just wanted to take an opportunity to make sure that those people knew and understood um, how much they were appreciated. First, Diane Versack, formerly Hitchens, um, and her 31 years working in the district with some of our neediest student populations and the dedication and commitment that she has shown over the years. I'll miss our Special Olympics planning which she helped bring to our high school campus and really kind of put HH on the map as the regional host for this landmark opportunity for students with disabilities. So Diane, thank you. Diane, happy retirement. We wish you a life of golf, sun, 
perpetual flowers and sunshine and sunscreen. We're not going to be jealous of you having to wear this for the rest of your life and sand in your toes. So good luck with that. Happy retirement. Cheers. Congratulations, Diane. Enjoy, enjoy your grandbabies too. Joe Carapucci, long time science teacher, has 28 years teaching um, here at the high school and at the honors and AP level, working with some of our top students. Um, he was a student favorite, is a student favorite, um, and serves as that lovable grandfather figure for the science department. Joe, I'm definitely going to miss talking to Eagles football in the main lobby every Monday morning during football season. Uh, then we have Bonnie Hyle, special place in my heart, long time administrative assistant and my administrative assistant when I first came back to HH. Um, Bonnie, 28 years of commitment to students and, um, and her work at the school is invaluable. Um, Bonnie so far has been the administrative assistant and watched four of the people who she's trained become principals either here or elsewhere. So Bonnie clearly knows the secret. Uh, Frank Vollmer, long time night supervisor and member of the nighttime high school custodial team for 22 years. Frank leaves us having worked and cleaned up after thousands of events here at the high school. We joke all the time that, you know, our high school after hours is kind of like a rec center. Um, and Frank has been here for all of that and, and will certainly be missed. On behalf of the Happer Horsham School District and the operations department, we would like to congratulate Frank Ballmer on his retirement. Frank started with the district in 1998 as a second shift custodian at the high school. In 2006, he became a night supervisor. Over the years, Frank did all the security checks in the building in the nights and weekends. Frank handled every one of the alarm calls in the building and ran all the summer cleaning projects. If there was an event in the building in the last 23 years, Frank set it up and broke it down. Frank was as reliable and as steady as they come. Frank's dedication and leadership made the high school second shift go for all these years. Finally, Ray on Durko, who has served this school district and specifically this high school for 39 years. Um, Ray started working here right after he graduated from high school. Um, so we never really left. Ray, thank you for everything you've done, the mountains you've helped move to get things accomplished during the busiest times of the school day. Ladies and gentlemen, over this type of longevity is just not something that you see. It's not common in many professions, especially not in education these days. So from the bottom of my heart, as the building principal and as a former Hatter, I say thank you. Um, we'll miss you. Um, we'll miss you well into the future, and we will certainly wish you well in future endeavors, which hopefully include a little bit of relaxation. Thanks so much for your efforts. Good luck. On behalf of Happer Horseman School District and the Operations Department, we would like to congratulate Ray on Dyer on his retirement. Ray started with the district in 1982 as a day custodian in Keith Valley, when Keith Valley was the high school for the school district. In 1991, he transitioned to the current high school and was a groundskeeper. Mr. Anderko became a facility coordinator in 2005. Ray was responsible for preparing countless events, including graduations, proms, dances, and all the sporting events at the high school. Fields and the grounds were always sharp and ready to go under Ray's watch. Ray is a great human being and the kind of man who would literally give you the shirt off his back. He was a wonderful boss and appreciative to not only the amigos who worked for him, but all who knew him. If you need to get it done, call Ray. On behalf of the Happer Horsham School District and the Operations Department, we would like to congratulate Steve Kiefer on his retirement. Mr. Kiefer started with the district in 1996 on the second shift of the high school. He later transitioned to the day shift as part of the grounds crew and became the right-hand man of Ray, the facility coordinator. Over the next 25 years, Steve prepared and lined the fields and all the sporting events and every other responsibility involved with the school's games and practices. Steve was always available for all events uh, no matter what the time, whenever the district needed. Steve was a bit of a character. He always had laughs to give and kept the workday late for the rest of the amigos at the high school. Steve was not only hilarious, but a really good guy and a really great worker. 
Tracy, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for all of your years of dedication, care, and support for the health and well-being of our students and our staff in the high school. Um, you will truly be missed. I wish you all the best in your retirement. And please know at any time, um, we are always in need of sub-nurses and we would love to have you back. Congratulations, have a wonderful retirement. We would like to congratulate Joseph Reichert on his retirement. Joe started with the district in 2005 at the high school. Mr. Riker worked on the second shift of the F wing in the building and later finished his career in the newer H wing at the school. Joe was part of the floor crew in the summers, which made the floor shine like new each school year. Joe was a great worker and a really funny guy. So at Keith Valley, we have six staff members who are retiring this year. We'd like to honor Peggy Joe Fisher, who retired from Keith Valley in December of 2020 after 30 years at Keith Valley. She served as our attendance secretary. She served in that capacity for all 30 of those years. Peggy was always a truly hardworking, dedicated, and absolutely com and completely, totally thorough attendance officer, working with students, family, and staff to make sure that our students were always accounted for accurately. Most importantly, she made sure that our students were safe and where they were supposed to be at all times, even if they weren't at school because they were with their parents or their families at a place of work on her favorite day of the year, take your child to work day. Peggy became synonymous with the KV attendance and has rightly earned the trust and the faith of the families of the Happer Worsham School District. So we are wishing Peggy many happy returns at her retirement. We'll miss her in the office, her humor, her knitting ability, and her mint chocolate squares, and her outstanding help when it came to pronouncing names. Certainly we're gonna take the pleasure in knowing that she will now have time to enjoy all of her love of baking, as well as time with her family and her grandchildren. We're gonna honor also Sue Dupree. Sue Dupree retired from the school district in September of 2020 after 28 years. Sue came to Keith Valley after working at Lime Kiln Simmons and immediately made an outstanding impact on our guidance office. She was an expert on students and uh, their information with an almost encyclopedic knowledge of a student's file, either in written form or on PowerSchool. She was always kind and respectful to families, either on the phone or in person, many of whom were dealing with problems and looking for a resolution quickly. Sue was always super helpful. Sue always gave people individualized attention when they needed it most. Her organization of PSSA test, uh, tests could land her in the uh, PDE Hall of Fame, if there is such a thing. She never lost a test booklet, an answer key, or a testing label. Always a professional, Sue worked tirelessly to support us at Keith Valley, as well as her family at home. We have the highest respect and admiration for her, and certainly for her continued health, happiness, and her request to be PSSA free for her entire retirement. We're also honoring Mary Ann Ruby. She's retiring uh, at the end of the school year after more than 23 years in the district. In her time at Keith Valley, Mary Ann spent most of her years as a building aide. She primarily worked with the teachers in the creative arts department. She's really the 10th member of the department, being indispensable in helping teachers set up their classrooms and individual learning activities. Rumor has it that she turned down a much more lucrative offer to cook quesadillas at Los Serapes um, because of all of her experience during Keith Valley's International Foods Day. This year during hybrid, Marianne was very key in helping us out with coverages in our classrooms, in the office, and in the cafeteria. Her service to students and staff over the years has been wonderful and we wish her super continued success in the future. We're also going to honor Jane McGill. Jane McGill has become synonymous with the Keith Valley Art Department. We're celebrating her retirement after more than 25 years in our district, from sketches of shoes for, to depth perception, uh, to glazed clay towers and virtual art museums. Students were exposed to many artistic mediums that paved the way for a love of art. Jane has earned the respect of her colleagues through her work with our students. She's also served as our in-house photographer for the Keith Valley Challenge, catching many memorable and meaningful scenes over the years. We've appreciated that she gave us her time through so many afternoons and late challenge nights. We're excited for her to start her next chapter, to spend time with her wonderful daughters and her grandchildren and sharing her love of art with them into the future. We continue our Keith Valley celebration with Jean Shutt. Jean Shutt has been a fixture in the seventh grade math department at Keith Valley, anchoring the department for the last 19 years. Before that, she held many roles from duty assistant to grade level assistant, even long-term sub. As a teacher, Jean always prided herself on helping students work through the first real time they were exposed to a high school level math course with Algebra 1 in seventh grade. She approached this transition with kindness and understanding and supported her students as they learned key concepts. 
In addition to her teaching duties, Jean served as a lead teacher leadership role as team captain in grade seven and shared her experience and ideas as we worked through schedule changes and other initiatives over the years. One of her biggest contributions was for bringing her love of ballroom dancing to Keith Valley to share with our students during our club act and activity period. It was one of the most sought after clubs and our students loved it. We're hoping that she actually comes back and works with our students in the future with that. We'll miss Jean, her Model T Ford in our parking lot and her dancing abilities and we wish her well in the future. Our last staff member we're celebrating today at Keith Valley is Val Faisy. When you talk about innovation at Keith Valley, one name comes to mind immediately and that's Val Faisy. Val has had a long and successful teaching career with the last 19 of those teaching tech ed at Keith Valley. Beginning in 2004 with our internationally renowned tech initiative, Val was on the cutting edge of technology education, working with teachers across disciplines and grade levels to inter integrate technology directly into the curriculum. As that program became more embedded into our daily teaching and learning, Val remained innovative and created a course focused on coding and design where students work with programming, they work with robotics, and build and fly drones. Val has written numerous grants and received accolades uh, from not only Microsoft but, and other tech companies, as well as our own HH Ed Foundation. Throughout her educational innovation and leadership, her ideas also spread into the area of social emotional learning and support for students. She was instrumental in creating our internationally recognized advisory program and created the mentorship program that we now know as Hatter Ambassadors. She was one of the original staff members behind the KB Fun Run and is a lifelong distance runner. Val is a truly gifted teacher who will always look to make herself better and is willing to go above and beyond her in service to her students. I know that Val is looking forward to spending tons of time with her growing number of grandchildren as well as traveling with her husband Chris. And I'm hoping that they get a chance to fly some drones with her soon. Thank you. We're here again to um, honor two additional Keith Valley retirees. Tom Sabitis has been a consistent presence in the Keith Valley Math Department for the last 22 years. We're celebrating his retirement after years of helping students learn the formulas for slope, as well as, find, as, well as finding multiple variables in tough to decipher word problems. Tom worked with his, eight, his seven gray uh, teammates these past few years to create an atmosphere of caring about students and also their well-being. Outside of the classroom, Tom, for a few years, operated our Keith Valley Auditorium's audiovisual systems and helped bring to life the stage for many band and chorus performances. For those who knew Tom well, understand that his role fit well as he was a very quiet and private uh, and has very well, sorry, has a very quiet and private demeanor. Tom is the kind of teacher and person that quietly brings a stability to a program, but without the need for fanfare. We're excited for Tom to start his next chapter and to get to spend time traveling and enjoying his life outside of Keith Valley. We're also here to, to honor Lori Murphy Fox. While her retirement is not official for another year, Lori Fox is leaving Keith Valley and the high school after 21 years in our school district. Lori was an extremely successful and beloved member of the high school's language arts department before switching over to the ESL program more than 10 years ago. Lori's one of the most kind and caring people that I've ever had the pleasure to work with. She puts forth an outstanding effort to support students who are coming to school and learning content, all the while sharpening their understanding of the English language being used all around them inside and outside of the classroom. Lori has championed our EL students and worked with teachers at Keith Valley and the high school to know each of those students individually, especially about their cultures. This knowledge created a much richer environment for all of our students at all of our schools and helped to create a place where differences are celebrated and not a cause for division. We wish Lori the best in her retirement as she will be able to spend so much more time with her ever growing number of grandchildren and her family. Hi, Carol. I just wanted to take a brief moment and share my utmost appreciation for the work that you've done here, not just for our school, not just for Hallowell, but for the entire school district. As you know, the work that you do here at Hallowell, it is very important. You are the first person that most people see when they come to our school. You are the person that sets the stage for people feeling welcome and valued. And you know that when I was interviewing you, I saw those qualities in you that are so important. Qualities of being kind and patient and fair and understanding, listening and really trying to learn and giving your best efforts. You've done that and more. And I just cannot tell you how grateful I am for all the things that you've done. And I wish you all the best. You very much deserve it. 
Have a wonderful time with you and your family. Thank you again. Mrs. Jill Green is retiring after 14 years teaching at Simmons Elementary School, primarily in fifth grade. Jill will be remembered for her funny sense of humor and her ability to connect with her students. We especially appreciate her understanding of the craft of writing and her inspiration to all of her students to find their voice. Hi, Mrs. Green. Um this has been a great year for fifth grade. Um, our whole class has really loved coming back to school and I hope you've liked it too. Um, so I think you've been teaching here for a really long time and it's been really, it, I hope you, it's been really great for you. Um, so retiring right now is like a, it's really big and it's a really big deal for you. So I hope you have a really great time after you retire. I know you think you, I think you want to be like a part-time cook, which I know you're going to do really well at. Um, my favorite time when we came back to school for um, fifth grade, my favorite time was when I got to talk with you and all my friends and we didn't have the screen right there and it's been really, really awesome. Um, so. I really hope that you have a great um, time after retirement. Our whole class is so, is so excited to have you as our teacher. It's been a really amazing time. Thank you so much for being a great teacher. Congratulations to Mr. Jeff Sutton, who is retiring from Simmons Elementary School as a health and PE teacher for almost 30 years. Mr. Sutton taught his students the importance of exercising and the importance of leading a healthy lifestyle. We wish him all the best in his retirement. Thank you, Mr. Sutton, for doing all the fun things on all the fun games we did in gym. I appreciate it all because you worked hard to help us find games during COVID and have a good time for the rest of your life and you have a good retirement. Mrs. Bernadette Feliciani is retiring after 16 years as an instructional assistant at Simmons Elementary School. Mrs. Feliciani is remembered for her kindness and her flexibility and helping so many young children learn how to read. Thank you, Mrs. Feliciani, for helping me in third grade with my reading. Um, good, I hope you have a good time in your retirement. Thank you, Mrs. Feliciani, for helping during lunch. Good luck in your retirement. Thank you for helping us in first grade with reading. Happy retirement. Mrs. Judy Bunch is retiring after 25 years of service in Hatboro Horsham School District. Mrs. Bunch is remembered for her kind and generous spirit. Hi, Mrs. Bunch. Judy, I just wanted to say we miss you and I'm so excited for your retirement. All of the kids miss you. Um, I think about you every day and I hope everything's going well, and I hope you love all of the years you have to just be free. Love you, miss you. Bye, Mrs. Bunch. Mrs. Joanne Fry is retiring after 33 years of service in Hatboro Horsham School District. Joanne will be remembered for her special connection to her students and supporting them in finding their strengths and success in learning. Hi, Ms. Fry, it's Rocco, and my favorite part about last year was when we got to read about the Eagles and watch the Eagles on the smart board, and me and Aiden and probably all the kids in there that saw it is when the baby eagle marched around with the shell on its head, and also when the one time when the two baby eagles were playing with each other and they were both rolling over. Bye, Miss Fry, have a good retirement. On behalf of the Happer Horseman School District and Operations Department, we would like to congratulate Buddy Connor on his retirement. Walter Connor started with the district in 2003 at Simmons Elementary as a night supervisor. Buddy later transitioned to the daytime lead custodian at Limekiln Simmons Elementary. Following the Limekiln closure, Buddy went back to Simmons as a groundskeeper. Mr. Connors was a hard worker and responsible for all of Simmons property as well as caring for the Jarrett Nature Center. Buddy was a dedicated worker and always looked to solve problems and loved his job. Hi Cindy, Christine here one more time. I just wanted to uh, let you know again how much we are all missing you here in the HR office. All of your co-workers, we talk about you daily. How can we not? Every day it was, well go ask Cindy. Cindy knows the answer to that. 
And after 24 years, that's the legacy you've built. And so all of us um, just wanted to let you know here in the HR office that we're thinking of you. Um, we appreciate everything you've done for us. Every one of us has been touched by your, your generosity, your kindness, um, and your knowledge. Your knowledge of this HR department and of this district uh, cannot be matched and will definitely be, be missed. One thing I wanted to share with you is I know all of the time that you've uh, put into your job here late nights, um, meeting people whenever they are available, onboarding new hires, things of that nature, all of the things that HR has to do. Um, I know that it didn't give you a lot of time to really organize things and stay on top of um, uh, you know, the filing that came with all of that. And that was not a criticism of you, it was just a uh, situation of, of our office. And my point being that your uh, desk was always a source of uh, frustration for you. And you said, I'm not retiring until this desk is cleaned off. And I know that in the, the recent months, you've been working um, very hard to do that. And um, while we still have, you know, some files and things like that, I did want to share with you. I'm in your office. That's your desk. You did it. You cleaned it all off. You got it all taken care of. Um, and we still miss you though. But again, great job. Thank you so much for all of the dedication. And please, please enjoy your retirement, your family, and stop by and see us. Take care, Cindy. Bye-bye.